Hey y'all, welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. My name is Corey Ashton here in San Antonio, Texas, and today we're gonna to be looking at how to set up notifications for your customers when you're using Gravity Forms. The other thing that's exciting about this video is that it is now one of 15 other videos inside of this Gravity Forms playlist that I have on our YouTube channel. I'll put the link to that playlist in the description box below so that if you're trying to learn new things about Gravity Forms, you definitely wanna check out all the different resources we have for you there. All right, so let's get to it. We had a really great question come in on our YouTube channel. It says, hi, Corey. I could not get a customer notification to work. And when I said it to the email field, does this work for you? So the quick answer to that is yes. However, if it's not working for you, there are some troubleshooting things that you can do really quickly before we get directly into how to set up all of these notifications correctly, right? So I want you to be sure that you are running the most recent version of your theme I want you to be sure that you're running the most recent version of WordPress, and I want you to be sure that you're running the most recent version of Gravity Forms, of course, right? So those are kind of some troubleshooting things. Be sure you have a backup of your website and go click update so that all those things are completely up to date. One other thing I wanna be sure of is that you do not have another type of form builder inside of your website. That could be causing conflicts as well. One last troubleshooting thing, I want you to be sure to set up notifications to yourself so that you know for a fact that the form is working and then all we need to do is figure out why the customer is not getting that specific notification. It could in fact be going to their spam folder, right? So I have a solution for that as well. So let's go check this out. I will show you today how to set up notifications. You're gonna choose the form that you wanna set the notification to and by default, Gravity Forms only adds in the admin notification. So we wanna click add new and create a customer notification. Super straightforward here, customer notification. You're gonna select the field inside of your form that you created for the email. Of course, it's gonna be from you. Right, Corey Ashton. And then from your email address or whoever you have to have that from on your team, right? And then um, your subject line can be whatever you want it to be. Your email message can be whatever you want it to be. And then you save notification. That simple, truthfully, that's crazy. If you wanna learn more specifically about maybe how to add a file to that notification so they get maybe a PDF file or some sort of added uh, attachment, I've got another video for that again in the playlist below. So check that out. Okay, last troubleshooting bit. If they're still not receiving this darn notification, uh, here's a really cool plugin that you can add to your website that's gonna help fix the problem. Uh, this actually helps kind of reroute how your website sends notifications or sends email addresses. And this is a pretty involved plugin, but what I want you to do is come down here below and check out the different screenshots. They give you awesome instructions on how to set this up and how to basically redirect your website to be sure to send out that notification. Super crazy cool. If you need more help with this and y'all are interested in me doing a tutorial specifically on this plugin, be sure to holler at me, leave a comment in the thread below, and I'll try to do another one for you next WordPress Wednesday. Bye, y'all.